the FCC has authorized a new LTE cellular band, and if you have a recent device like an iPhone 11, you might already be compatible. Hi, I'm Chris from the Mobile Internet Resource Center, here to share with you some uh, news on the cellular front. Uh, yesterday, the FCC um, gave full authorization for the rollout of a new cellular band. This is uh, the 3.5 gigahertz band, otherwise known as CBRS, otherwise now known as OnGo. So this uh, band, um, also known as LTE Band 48, uh, this band has been in the works for six years to try and figure out how to bring this new cellular band out to market. And that's because it's kind of complicated because this band actually has current users who are still using it, namely the U.S. government. This is a band that has been used for military radars and for satellite communications, and the military doesn't want to give up their particular radars using this band. So... How are you going to let people do cell cellular devices on this same frequency band without upsetting naval destroyers patrolling off the coast? And the system that they've worked out, and about 150 companies have spent six years working on this system, is to have a way for the network to share and coordinate access to this frequency band. So you'll have priority going to the incumbents, so when the Navy is turns on their radars, it'll send a signal up to a server that says nobody in this area can use this frequency band. But, well, they're only using it a few times. It's actually kind of a rare rare band for them to use. So most of the time, it's free and open. So the next tier down will be licensed users. So two or three different carriers will be able to buy priority access, and they'll be able to expand their cell towers to support the second tier down. Kind of like how cellular works existing existing cellular that works on most regular bands. And then the third tier of CBRS is actually public access, open access, unlicensed access. So any compatible device, as long as it's paying attention to, if it's currently in use by one of the higher priority users, will be able to use this. Sounds really confusing. It's really complicated, but the good thing is this all just happens behind the scenes and automatically. So if you have a phone that is compatible with this and your carrier is using this frequency band, it does all the negotiations behind the scenes and is basically saying, hey, do I have access to this express, new express lane that is being built? Um, kind of cool. It's 150 megahertz of a new spectrum that will be being enabled by CBRS. Um, the cool thing is, because this has been in the works for so long, the LTE modem chips, that's have most, many of them have already been updated to support this. And the latest generation of devices like the Samsung uh, Galaxy S10s or the iPhone 11 already have radios that are compatible with this band. So once your carriers start rolling out service, you might start getting extra coverage, extra speed, thanks to CBRS going online now. Um, now, the other thing is, well, they're calling it OnGo. That is just a marketing name, um, a branding name, to label devices that have been compatible and certified with this. But it is just CBRS behind the scenes, and um, it's kind of cool to see a new frequency band coming out for cellular. And this is not just for LTE. This will also be used for 5G and potentially for other innovative uses like private cellular networks. So a lot of interesting stuff coming. That's the news on CBRS. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.